In this episode of No Stupid Questions, I want to talk about the great partnership that we have in Adobe with NVIDIA. We work really closely, our engineers with their engineers, with some great results, including support for the new Optics 3.0 library in After Effects 12.1. Stability and performance, two beautiful things that come about. This kind of partnership is great, and it really goes hand in hand with Creative Cloud. Uh, NVIDIA is known for constant great updates, so they'll constantly be pushing the envelope and coming up with new updates. Well, we're going to have our updates all the time with Creative Cloud, so we're lockstep with them on what we're doing. So specifically when I'm working with uh, the optics library in After Effects, what I like to do is when I'm creating motion graphics, extruded shapes and type and moving them around, I want to make sure that I'm working in real time. And in this particular system, I'm using a Quadro K6000. It's amazing. I mean, I'm lucky. I have a K5000 at home in my studio, and the K5000 has four gigabytes of video RAM, which that's pretty awesome. But did you know that the 6000, the K6000 has 12 gigabytes of RAM in it? That is just crazy. And here at the Adobe Studio, this is where I'm using the K6000. I notice an, a huge difference when I'm working with 3D graphics and After Effects. So I want to show you how I can uh, use the GPU for uh, rendering these graphics. And I'm going to make a change on the fly. And then I'm going to give you a lot of pain. I'm going to turn off the GPU and show you what you're missing. All right, let's go have a look. Here I've got a, uh, a shape. This shield shape that I've got in the background is an Illustrator file that I brought in and converted to a shape. And then we've got some type inside here. And I've got a little bit of a, a graphic motion inside here where you can see things are spinning around. And right now I've got adaptive resolution turned on inside here. So you see that it, it goes down to a lower resolution, an eighth resolution as I'm moving this around. That's okay. We're going to make that even better in a second. Um, if you want to see what this looks like, and I'm, I'll just hit the space bar and play this back. And you can see I'm playing this back. This is not pre-rendered. There's the green line playing in real time or close to real time. And that's what it looks like. So that's what you're used to. I'm going to clear this cache out. So I'm going to purge all of my memory, get rid of that green line. And then we'll go in and turn that off. So right now, uh, we're using adaptive resolution and the GPU for accelerated playback. In my fast uh, preview preferences, in the GPU information, this is what I'm using right down here. It's my Quadro uh, K6000. I'm going to go turn this into CPU, click OK, hit OK, and now I hit the space bar and it looks like we're locked up. Well, we're asking way too much of the CPU to be able to render this, and you can see After Effects is, is going to tell me that it, it, uh, it's going to take a long time for this. So let me just uh, go back and turn on uh, GPU acceleration. Then I want to make a change to this graphic. Remember, this is a live shape inside here in After Effects. So to try to make changes like that without acceleration is not a good thing. So let me just uh, make a change in here as soon as After Effects lets me know. Thank you. All right, let's turn GPU acceleration back on. Click OK. OK. I'm going to go to my shape that I have here in the middle. I'll grab the pen tool because this is a shape, and I can click in here and drag this down and make a change, and you'll see the update. And now I can spin this around, and it's playing back. So that should give you an idea of how fast that is, but I was just teasing you. I have this on fast preview with a Quadro K6000. I don't even have to. Watch what happens when we turn off fast preview. Inside here, this is final quality. Turn this off, and now watch this. As I move this around, look, I get reflections, full reflections of the type inside there as I move that around. As fast as I can move this around, it's playing back. 
And I also get the benefit, if I hit the zero key and do a RAM preview, have a look at that speed. I mean, that means that I'm going to have tons of iterations, huge amounts of uh, changes and options in this. And I can change the text, the graphics, the color inside here. This is a great example of the kind of benefits you get from performance gains with GPU acceleration. If I want to sit here and crank these graphics out, or maybe my job is I'm an editor, and all I know is that I need to grab a graphic, drop it in here, extrude it, and put this inside uh, Premiere Pro as a dynamic link project. Well, I'm still going to get the benefit of GPU acceleration across the board. So. Great partnerships that we have at Adobe and NVIDIA. We're going to continue working on this across all of our applications and make sure you get the best out of your hardware and software.